the Necro Zoo. I am Bones. And in this one, we finally made it through the Batman Beyond Future's End Joker Bot Wave. Now this wave did take a pretty long time to get through all the releases. I'm pretty sure at the start of the year it was the Batman Beyond and then a couple of months passed and then we got Shriek and then consecutively right after another we had Batwoman Beyond and then most recently we finally received Blight. Each one coming with different parts to construct the Joker slash Batman bot. Now this is from the storyline Future's End. Uh, it's basically kind of like a sci-fi tech storyline where it does have time travel where that's how Batman Beyond is mixed into this. He's Terry McGinnis is sent from the very future into the past to try and battle a, a kind of tech algorithm that's like taking over the world. It has basically assimilated and removed all the heroes and villains except for Joker, so he thinks, except attacks Joker. He realizes that actually Batman also has been kept uh, around and then, you know, some maniac blends them together <laughs> uh, Siamese twin style and builds the Joker bot. So a uh, pretty crazy story, uh, you know, if you'd like to look into it. But we're here to look at the final collect to build figure Joker bot. Now, of course, the Batman Beyond figure did come with the torso and head. Then you had the arms from Shriek and then the legs from Batwoman Beyond and finally we did receive the wings from Blight so let's go ahead and assemble this guy we'll start with the arms and before we put the arms in little tips is that you do want to like either heat these up these pegs or move them around to get them loosened up and then of course don't forget to put in your bushing shoulder socket there then of course the easiest way is to straighten out this peg and then just stick it in there Do the other side that has the gun on it. Some pretty e easy clicks there, but we'll see how it goes. Then you have the legs. Now the legs do have letters. One says left. You stick that in there. One says has an R for right. There you go. And then finally, we do have the wings. Pretty much the best configuration is to straighten this like so, and then line it up with the hole, and then slowly, and then once that front little part goes in, then it's kind of easier just to like put force and then get it in there. Basically, there you go. We'll do the other one. Of course, make sure your wings are positioned where they're gonna flare out like that. Like I said before, if you get that tip in first, the rest should push straight in. There you go. Okay, so basically that's it. Got the wings in. Now we'll keep them minimal to take a look at the figure first. 
Now starting off, just first impressions. Now that I have them built, surprisingly intrigued by this scope work and character design. I mean, who, <laughs> who would, you know, come up with this? Uh, crazy kind of mech, cyborg, you know, tech, all mixed in together. Have some bo body horror with the two heads there. Pretty interesting take on the Joker bot. Really enjoying this. Has a lot of character. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the heads. First we'll look at the Joker. Now let's use the Joker to do the articulation which he could look up slightly but he could look down very well. Then he does have right to left and then you can tilt his head for some character and then of course you can switch his head around and then get that Batman head in control. Pretty sweet, pretty uh, disturbing. Now let's go ahead and move down. Awesome scope work here. We got that bat symbol with a, I think that's the symbol of the like computer algorithm that runs, you know, with a, what's taking over the world. And then it's like an eye and then move down. Let's check out the articulation in the waist. You can rock them side to side. You can twist them around. A lot of smooth articulation there. You do have upper torso swivel and you do have lower torso swivel. And then you can twist them to get them into some cool poses. You can lean them back. And you have to be a little bit cautious of there's like a some little like rivets here but if you get it under the 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 trunks part you can take them forward. It actually sits like right on that circle right above is is like in the belt area. Fits pretty snugly. Let's go ahead and take a look at the arms. He does have butterfly shoulder joints. The pauldrons are connected to his lower shoulder, so you can move them above to raise his arms up 90 degrees. He does have a bicep swivel, and he does have double jointed elbows. Now, moving into the forearms, he has some pretty awesome gauntlet blades there and more awesome scope work going down into the clawed hands and then he does have wrist articulation pretty nice now on the other hand he does have that big cannon ready to fire off some blasts all in all pretty nice Let's go ahead and take a look at the thigh swivel. A pretty generous thigh swivel there, especially for a big figure. So you can cock his leg out. Double jointed knees. Straighten it out. He does have up and down at the ankle. left to right and he does have rocker really smooth rocker there for such a big character and then he does have toe articulation now before we move on and again take a look at the scope work on the legs here just awesome intricate scope work you can see all the like cables 
that connect the body. A lot of really nice scope work there. Take a look at them from the bottom. No tread. Moving up. Taking in all that awesome scope work. Up to the back. Love that spinal column. Kind of like exposed spinal column in the back. Pretty nice. Like these green tubes that connect his, his suit really stand out. And you can see <laughs> the Batman facing you from the back. Pretty interesting. Let's take a look at the wings. They are fully articulated. You can actually pivot them out or raise them up. Get a pretty nice wingspan there. Really enjoying this guy. Now, there was one dilemma I did have, and that was that when I was picking up the figures to connect this guy, I started to think like, which head will, do I want to display him with? The Joker head or the Batman head? And, <laughs> and then while I was doing that, I kind of thought, well, you know the rule, and the rule is, if you have two heads, you have to basically have two figures. So I did pick up another set to build one to represent the Batman side. So now I have both versions of the bot. And actually I did play around with this one already which is that i thought it would be cool to add the boosters that come with batman beyond you know just to give him like some added effects there yeah actually it looked really really good on him fits perfectly and then i did already i am gonna repaint this guy i'm gonna repaint the wings like a higher silver more kind of like the cannon and then add details to the cannon and some details to his suit just to separate them to differentiate them from this one and then i did already make a hole on front of the cannon so that you could add like a blast effect like so so i thought that looked pretty sick Just to give him a little bit more flair. Could be firing that cannon off. And then I did notice that if you look at the actual kind of like instruction, you know, on the box, it actually shows that these big batarangs, even though I do prefer to use them with the, the Batman Beyond figure, it actually shows that these batarangs are actually supposed to be for the Joker bot. I mean, that's how it shows it in the in that little graph so i thought that was pretty interesting as well that he's actually supposed to be the one that uses these like bigger batarangs now let's go ahead and actually bring in all the figures that made up this joker bot you have the batman beyond the shriek Batwoman Beyond and then the Blight. Pretty awesome little collection of figures there. Really enjoying this Connect to Build figure. Really going to be happy to add them to the collection and really interested to start working on this custom repaint that I'm going to do on this one, the Batman version. But before we go, let's take a look at them with some bigger figures from McFarlane. First, let's take a look at him next to the original Devastator. And then let's take a look at him next to the Merciless. <laughs> Almost completely forgot about Merciless until I looked at him, you know, right now. Beautiful figure. I am 
supposed to do a repaint of that one as well. So maybe I'll get around to that pretty soon. And then finally, let's take a look at them next to the big boy Bane. I still love this Bane, even though a lot of people didn't like them. I, I, since I'm a big Bane fan, just to get a different version and such a bulky figure. One of my favorite figures to have on the shelf, that Bane. But anyways, guys, if you can, go ahead and collect these figures so you can build the Joker bot. Stay hunting out there. Keep collecting, keep customizing, and I will see you on the next one.